50 quid each riding on this. I'm gonna make sure we win well, by cutting the brakes, loosening them. That way they won't notice until it's too late. You better hurry up before Dad notices we're missing. Yeah, help me. Hello, Jake. Yeah, well, the Owens aren't gonna catch us now, are they? We're only a few miles from the coast. <laughs> well done, boys. We're on the home straight. How much further, Jack? Well, it can't be more than four miles, and it's all downhill from here. Well, have you got our prize money ready? Hey, Not hey. so fast, gentlemen. We haven't crossed the finishing line yet. Well, the last one there is going to see with their cloak. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's this way. What, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I've looked at the map. <laughs> but what do you want, Dad? I want to see you all. I can't just cut you out of my life. I thought you already had. I'm sorry. Have you got any idea what you've put us through? I thought you could handle it. Or maybe I could. And me and Debs, we always knew what a letdown you were. But Steph and Craig, they suffered the most. They were devastated. I want to make it up to them. To all of you. It's too late. Please, Jake, all I'm asking for is a chance. Why should we give you anything? You gave up the right to have anything to do with our lives the day you walked out on us. Just go, please. Here. It's my new mobile number, just in case. I don't want it. Take it. For Stephen Craig's sake, if nothing else. We made it, eh? Where's the welcoming committee? Well, it must have made better time than we thought. I expected a check and flag or something, Dad. Ah, but they'll be here soon enough. But victory is ours and that's all that counts. It's not over yet. Not till we dip our wheels in the water. Come on, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> Surely there must be someone here by now. Such as? I don't know, other cyclists, someone official at least. Like I said, we made good time. Here, what about our uh, winning incentive? What winning incentive? 50 quid, cough it up, go on. Oh, kidding. We're at the wrong beach. What? what? So the next one along. The guy with the dog just said there's a load of people there with bikes and everything. You're joking? No. How do we get there? Back the way we came. Up the hill! Darren, we didn't pass any other roads, son. Well, what about the Owens? They're going to have caught up by now. What are we going to do? Start peddling, boys. We can't let them beat us now. Boys, take a left here and it'll take us straight down to the sea. Yeah, not nice born in sight, eh? They must be well behind by now. What did I tell you, boys? You've got to get up early in the morning to catch the Owens. Come on, boys, we're almost there! Did I just see what I thought? Sir? Go! Jack, thanks for agreeing to meet up again. Car stay along. How about a quick drink? No, it's fine. This isn't a social visit. Just come and see what you want. I already told you. I want to see my kids. A lot of day goes by when I don't think about you. I miss you. A bit late for fatherly concern, isn't it? How are you? How's Becca? We're not together anymore. I'm sorry. I always thought you were well suited. Isn't that what they used to say about you and Mum? What happened? We just went our separate ways, that's all. I, uh, I read about Dan Hunter in the paper. What, and you didn't think to get in contact? Yeah, I thought about it, but it's not how they were still together. Yes, they were. Dan was about to propose. Debbie was devastated. I'm sorry. What for? Not having the courage to get in contact with your own kids. Look, we wanted answers, you know. We didn't have a clue what was going on. The truth is, your mum and me had been on the rocks for a while. And then I met Michelle, and she fell pregnant. Now, it, it wasn't planned. I only knew that I had to stand by her. I thought it would be easier all round if I cut the ties. I know it wasn't the best thing to do, but I wasn't thinking straight at the time. That's no excuse. I know what I put you through, son, and I'm under no illusion. All I want is a chance to make it up to you. 
on, boys. Keep going to gentlemen's race. Yeah, and who's false that, eh? I get nothing to own beats. You are the one who had the pig in map. We don't win. I still want my money. Yeah. We're not going to lose. We'll win. Oh, no, it's the ones. Get your motor running. So you can get away from us, did you? Get out on the highway. You're wasting your time on board. You might as well give up now. Two men back there a bit nobbling at Owens. That's it. <laughs> See, he says a break's mysteriously failing, you two are still pleading innocence. Did you cut the cables? No. What then? <laughs> we loosen them, that's all. It was his idea, Dad. What? You helped me, only to make them less effective, you idiot. I must pull it that, you could have caused those boys serious injuries. Come on, Dad, it wasn't that bad. So, picked to the post by Team Owen. Oh, I never mind, that is always next year. Look, you only won, boys, because your brakes failed. Darren. Oh, we were all over you. You deserve to win, boys. These two tamper with your brakes. They might have known you were resort to dirty tricks. Well, look at the state of our bikes compared to yours. Yeah, you had an unfair advantage. It's you two who didn't play it fair. You should be disqualified. And you owe me a whole week's free bet. Boys, it was supposed to be about charity, not winning at all costs. We're still gonna get the money though, aren't we, Dad? You'll be lucky. What? We peddled our guts out for you on the most embarrassing bikes ever made. Well, I'm sorry, boys, but the money is going to Russia's charity. £100, son. Thank you. No hard feelings, eh? A decision I took lightly, walking back into your life like this. And why did you bother? When you've got it all, haven't you? New woman, new kid. Mum's world fell apart when you left. You destroyed everything she'd ever believed in. I don't know how she managed it, but she carried on. Now Mum, Craig, Steph, they've built a new life for themselves, and you want to just walk in and turn all that upside down again? I just want to see them, that's all. The rest is up to them. Isn't that simple? Please, Jake, tell me where I can find them. Why should I? I'm their father. If you put a stop to this, you'll be denying us any chance of a relationship. Now, that might be what you want, but can you really make that decision on their behalf? I can't let you hurt them again. If they don't want to see me, that's fine. I'm not going to put any pressure on them. Just let them make up their own minds about me. Please, Jake. They're living at the dog. The pub. They were homeless. They didn't have any choice. When can I see them? Call Mum, arrange something. Don't just turn up there, whatever you do. Maybe you'd have a word with her. Smooth the way a little. I'm not doing your dirty work for you. If you haven't got the guts to face them, they don't bother at all. That's fine. I shouldn't have asked. If you do this, you better tread carefully. Mess with their heads or upset them in any way at all, and you have me to answer to. Do you understand? Oh, what about us? Sorry, boys, your room. Oh, we're supposed to get back to Chester. Well, you could hitch it. I better still. Bye, kid.